I'm Mary Burton and I am a social and political activist. I care about human rights and people's dignity. I've been very fortunate to work in the Black Sash and to learn a great deal from it. Um, people often ask me if I came from a political family. I grew up in South America and I, I would say that my family were, had fairly traditional liberal values, but they were not interested in, in politics really. And I was perhaps a little bit more interested in governance and how things worked in, in running countries. I was a journalist, so I was watching events in Brazil at that time. Um, but it was coming to South Africa and seeing the absolute cruelty of apartheid that wakened me to the need to make some contribution towards changing, towards a more just system. When I came to this country for the first time and was grappling with what apartheid meant to people and trying to find out what options there were and somebody introduced me to this organization and I found the most wonderful body of women who were an inspiration and an education. Some of the years in the 1970s were very lonely for the Black Sash, uh, rejected obviously by the government and by the majority of white South Africans. Towards the end of the 1970s, there was a new spirit in South Africa, a new spirit of resistance against apartheid. And it was clear that it needed uh, a mass movement. And so we and other organizations who had uh, a little bit of a track record of opposing apartheid were drawn into that movement, which eventually became the United Democratic Front. The students who will be graduating at the ceremony where I will receive the award of a doctorate are students in pharmacy and in law, uh, both of them areas where they can do enormous good through the work that they are going to do. It is wonderful to, to be honoured in this way by, by Rhodes University. I'm very excited about it. Uh, and I regard this honour as being partly awarded to the many non-profit organisations who have worked for justice in South Africa.